where do you stand in the whole trunk based development versus like git flow i'm I'm more of a trunk based developer guy um but git flow has its places the majority of my opinions about everything is there's always a gray area and (laughs) it's never black and white and i i live in that gray area so git flow is there's multiple places where it got its origins uh, from. And one of them is a typical use of clear case. <laughs> um, but it's a much more organized uh, way to do software development. If you have to be very nitpicky about where a change is introduced and follow that change from you know, uh, uh, concept to delivery, uh, then Git flow is the better method. If that is not a requirement for how you do software development, trunk-based delivery or trunk-based yeah, uh, uh, design yeah. is, is, is a much more efficient way. Um, so it depends, is, is efficiency more important than accuracy? And maybe accuracy is too mean of a word to, to put there. Um, but, uh, you know, if, if you have to have tight controls over how things get delivered. So if you go back to like a, uh, a military contract and I have to support 10 different, uh, uh, uh variations Versions, of, yeah. Yeah, of airplanes. And, uh, I, I can only deliver software for X number of versions, but, uh, not these other ones. Um, then I don't want to be on trunk based. Uh, I, I want to be on something like a Git flow. Yeah, because uh, back in 2017, I remember being in a room with like 10 engineers and we were looking at the Git flow model and all 10 of us had a different interpretation of how to read that dumb diagram. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that this is why I want to transition into into the future of the podcast here as we, as we start rounding out the second half and, and start mm-hmm. wrapping it up here. W- one of the things that I want to achieve with the podcast here is to kind of just discuss DevOps in general, right? Because mm-hmm. just the way you have your opinions with GitFlow and I had my 10 people that had 10 different views on it, everything in the DevOps space is beauty in the eye of the beholder. 